Most sensible people are probably in bed at this time in the morning. But we are halfway up a 4,000 meter peak in the Italian Alps. And it is an incredible morning. We started about 800 meters down at a mountain hut and we are headed up there. So we've just arrived into Chamonix in France for the Shackleton Alpine Challenge. And it's going to be a pretty exciting and full on week. As a quick snapshot over the course of the next six days, we're going to be ice climbing on two glaciers, doing a Ve Ferrata, and then a two day hike up to the Grand Paradiso, which is over 4,000 meters on our final day with a, an overnight stop in the mountain hut. We're in very good hands too. We've got Lou and Wendy from the Shackleton Expeditions team and then local guide Simon, Simon Abrams, who's been out in Chamonix for decades and know, knows these mountains better than most. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Just been out and grabbed breakfast and we are kicking things off today with Vea Ferrata. So the Alpine Challenge is a level two challenge and the Shackleton challenges range in levels from one through to five, one being the easiest and five being the most challenging. While the Alpine Challenge is for everyone, you do need a good level of fitness to do the challenge and it's a level two rather than a level one because there is quite a bit of exposure. But you know, what we try and do is make sure that everybody is welcome and that we prepare you for the challenges as well. So you've got time to Get, do the, the physical prep, you've got time to get your head around what the challenge is going to, invo is going to involve and so we want, you know, we want it to be available to as many people as possible. The way the week is structured is, is pushing people definitely out of their comfort zone. The whole idea of the week is to build up all the skills uh, that you're needed to safely complete a summit of Grand Paradiso. So it really is an absolutely wonderful introduction to the alpine style of mountaineering. I first came to the Alps when I was 17. I decided that this is where I wanted to live and wanted to be, and I wanted to be a mountain guide. This week should give everyone a really good taste of the, the different skills needed for alpine climbing, but also hopefully kind of give them a real kind of like inquisitiveness or, you know, a real love of wanting to kind of like develop those skills to actually, you know, go up higher or harder or just more mountains, you know, and just be outside in the great outdoors. We're looking for people who want to push themselves um, we definitely want someone who's got that sense of adventure. They might not have done any, any climbing before and that's fine. They might not have done any moving over glaciated terrain. We give people all the learning and the instruction and the practice during the week that they need for uh, the final few days of Summit Push the Grand Paradiso. Um, so we're really looking for people who uh, want to do something different, they want to be in the mountains and maybe that they're going on looking to go on and do something, something else bigger at a, a higher Shackleton level or do their own thing in the future. Okay, so we just got in after our third day here in Chamonix and as expected, it's been, I mean, it's been amazing, but it's been full on. We spent, uh, we had the Fair Ferrata on our first day here. Yesterday we spent the day up on Murder Glass, which is the biggest glacier in France. And then today we took a series of cable carts right up the mountain to 3,400 3, meters to spend the day on Valle Blanche. All of which now plays into tomorrow where when we leave on our two-day ascent of Grand Paradiso. Really looking forward to this, but essentially over the next two days, everything we've spent the last three days practicing with Simon, Louis and Wendy is going to be put to the test.
It's a, it's a thousand meters climb today in this sweltering condition. It's blisteringly hot. Behind me, way in the distance, is the mountain that we're here for, Grand Paradiso. And then we just just got into the approach to our mountain hut, which looks like a pretty special place to spend the night. The Grand Paradiso is going to be our peak for the week and all the skills we've done all this week are all kind of been leading up to it. And the mountain here, the Grand Paradiso, it's a fantastic mountain because it's 4,000 metres in altitude, it's 4,061 metres in altitude and you've got to use a bit of everything to get to the top. Tomorrow we've got about 1,300 metres to go to the summit and a lot of that starts off with broken trails scrambling across the moraines and onto the glacier and the glacier will be quite dry to start with it's going to be icy we're going to be using our crampons to negotiate our way up that and then before too long we'll be on the snow and then negotiating our way up the snowy covered glacier up right up into the very very summit which is a, a rocky scramble and then uh, some via ferrata kind of leading right to the very very top okay so tomorrow morning team uh, breakfast is at 3 30. Uh, we're going to go quite early because it's uh, going to be quite warm tomorrow i think the freezing level's up at about 4,000 meters so we want to kind of go early to make take advantage of the the cold temperatures on the glacier um, so that means getting up about three o'clock and we want to be out of here by four o'clock in the morning yeah. Um, so breakfast is going to be um, fairly continental. Four in the morning. We are on the go, aiming towards these huge dark silhouettes in the distance. All things going well. We'll be summiting in the next five hours. When I'm in the mountains, I feel both so tiny and insignificant, but also part of something bigger. And that's a feeling that you just don't get really in kind of day-to-day -day life. You only really get it in the sort of wilderness places like, like the mountains or like the polar wilderness. Purely from a, a mental perspective, you know, spending time in, in this incredible area is uh, you can only leave here and, uh, and just feel a whole lot better about life. Last stop, 200 metres to the top, summit push. Four thousand and sixty-one meters done. We're whole team up on the top of Grand Paradiso. Unbelievable views, worth every step. I think Shackleton would have approved of this view. 